Welcome back, everyone. Don't worry. It's not deadline day. I've had a few screen burning issues on my TV. It's not, not great. We're, tr we're going to get it fixed eventually. Hello? Hi, mate. Just wanted to say unlucky with the buying result yesterday. Your boys gave it a really good go. Wait, did you even watch yesterday's episode? I mean, you edited it. Kind of. I mean, I was busy playing a new football game at the same time. Wait, you've started playing Football Manager? No, 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 no. Uh, who do you take me for? No, Football Manager. No, it's Football Manager. Imagine that. Uh, I mean, I can tell you all about it. It's called Super Club Soccer. Super Club Soccer is a free-to-play turn-based football multiplayer game. Create your player and begin competing in tactical online battles where every player is user-controlled. Train your attributes regularly and help your team win tournaments against teams from all over the globe. It's available for free on Steam and is linked at the top of the description. Just to check, this is an ad, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've got, I've got to keep upgrading the van, haven't I? And this is, this is my means. I mean, that's fair, to be honest. I can't even argue with that. But it is fun. Well, to be honest, mate, it sounds pretty good from what you've just described there. Maybe I'll check it out after today's video. Did you say it was free? Yeah, and sometimes you can play against Streaming Jack on Twitch. Sh streaming Jack? How's it going, chaps? Can we get some curry dogs in the chat? How's it going? It's been a while. I was just talking about you. How are you doing on this fine summer's day? I'm doing fantastic, thank you, mate. I never thought you'd ask. It's a pleasure to be here. I think we're multiplying. I don't know if I can handle more jacks. Uh, just gonna... Hang up. Uh, roll the intro, please. How's it going, folks? And welcome back to episode number 51 of Park to Primera. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I've been very giddy and excited about today's game. We're taking on Manchester City. It's the Champions League semi-finals. I don't quite know how we've got here. We've knocked out some of the biggest teams across Europe, and today we take on a Man City team who, to be frank, are quite scary. So at the moment over in the Premier League, they are sat in third place in what must be one of the most competitive ever Premier League title races. Seven points separating the top five teams. And while the team that we're concerned with... They've got quite good players. They've got early... So yeah, the cards are very much stacked against us, but we're going to give it our best go. We're going to see how we get on. We did play one game since we were last here. It was against Atleti, and it finished 1-1, which wasn't a terrible result. It wasn't a great result. It, it would have been nice to maybe put a little bit of pressure on Atleti going into the end of the season, but as things stand with that draw, it's very unlikely we're going to catch them. The only small silver lining, if indeed there is one, is that there is still that healthy gap to Valencia. And so looking at how the league table looks, I don't think we're going to be coming back for any more league live comms this year. So that means that all our focus is on the Champions League. If we do lose today... The plan is for next episode to kind of be an end of season wrap up slash precursor to the transfer special. If we win it, well, of course, it's going to be a very, very different occasion, isn't it? Um, obviously, Man City at home to start things off today. Two games coming your way. There is a league game against Villarreal midway through. Sorry, Villarreal. Sorry, sorry Ronald Koeman. You're just not as exciting as Man City. So in terms of team news for today's game, not much rotation needed, which is obviously ideal. The only little kind of bit of rotation that I'm doing is dropping Avramides and Blanco due to lack of fitness. Um, there's not really that much more to it. We have played a lot of games as of late, even with the rotation, even with international breaks, particularly our players who have been on international duty are feeling it a little bit. It's also worth noting that Ramadani currently has a bruised knee. I think it's a bruised knee. It's a minor injury that I've decided he can play through. But as a result of that, just to cover all bases for the first time in a very, very long time, we are going to have a goalkeeper on the bench, and it is going to be Machado. Now, with Blanco being dropped, I had a bit of a dilemma at box-to-box -box midfielder, but I've decided to go with a Wusu just because he's a little bit better defensively. I think having really good midfielders who are good at winning the ball back is going to be imperative today, especially against Man City at home. Of course, after the success we had against Bayern in the home game of the quarterfinals, I'm hoping for a similarly good performance today that could at least give us a little bit of hope and optimism. We go into this Champions League game as massive, massive underdogs. You look at their team, you look at their squad, you realise that there are levels to this game and 
we're not on the same level of Man City, at least right now. But well, not being on the level of our opposition is something that has never stopped this Racing team. We're going to give it our best go. Mejica's going to be on the bench alongside Avramides. If we want to go more attacking, we've got those kind of players to bring in. So the big critical thing today is let's have a lot of the ball, which early on we're having, and let's look good at the back. 64% of possession. And Pablo's gone down in the penalty area. Referee, he's going to the screen. He's going to go and have a look. I mean, I wish I had an option now to just shout at the referee as he's looking at it. I mean, we we look really good here to start things. A penalty would be massive if indeed it's going to be given, if indeed it was in the box. First viewing, I thought it was, and indeed it was. It's going to be given. This is a crazy start to the game. We've played really, really well in the opening stages. Pablo still hasn't quite recovered from his push, bless him. And well, it's now all on Siapina, I believe it will be, to take the, the penalty kick. Not the craziest kick taker, but he's not missed one yet, and he's not going to miss one here either. What an incredible start to this game. Goal number nine for a man who you may remember for the first half of the season was out on loan at Porto. I'm very glad we recalled him back. I'm very glad we signed him for £8 million. He has been a little dynamo since he joined the club. And uh, well, we look really, really good early on, although there's now a highlight for Man City. And it's Raheem Sterling laying it to Vinicius Jr. That effort is heroically blocked by Mark. Of course, Mark on loan from Manchester United. He's going to know how big this game is. He's going to want to prove a point and give the Manchester United fans something to scream and shout about. And since we've scored, they've grown into this game. Ruben Diaz has now hit the crossbar. We do manage to get it away from danger, but this feels like it could be a long, long game. We need to step things up here. After a really good start to the game, after getting our noses ahead, Man City have only grown into this fixture. Although we are still lethal from set pieces. Pablo whipped it in. Galaretta can't get there. Pablo back out to Awusu at the edge of the box. Now with Galaretta, the centre-back. Not sure he's the man I want to see in the wide areas there. And well, we're going to try and carve out an opportunity here. Calderon, Awusu, lovely, lovely build-up play. Calderon keeps it alive, whips it in. Edison spills it. Siapina, Jonathan Martinez, it's 2-0 Rassing. And it wasn't a particularly pretty goal. I'm struggling to get my words out. This is unbelievable. We are two goals ahead against Man City. And we, whilst perhaps we're fortunate to be there, a howler by Edison... Martinez, I thought for a second, was offside as he shot there. I thought he was about to get that certain goal disallowed. He helped it on its way. And at the break, it's 2-0. We've just had two great opportunities, as you can see by the XG graph. And besides that, it's just kind of been fairly meh from us. We've taken the opportunities that came our way. We've been clinical. And we go into the second half knowing that if we could keep a clean sheet and hold this two-goal lead, that would give us such a great opportunity going into the second leg. Man City have grown into this game. We are quickly building up the booking. So I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to bring in Basia, I think, at ball winner midfielder, and then Blanco in at centre mid. Elsewhere in the team, I'm pretty happy with the team on the whole, although Torre is tiring. So I'm going to take him off and bring in Avramides. Again, triple change being made in the Champions League. I've done a lot more of these than I have been in the league matches. I just feel like you have to be a lot more reactionary and a lot more cautious when it comes to bookings, especially. I also feel like we have strength like Avramides to bring on. Oh, Haaland's through. Oh my word, he's hit the woodwork. I mean, Ireland Haaland does not miss many opportunities like that. We've just been let off the hook. And now it's a throw in in their half. Calderon, Merck. Oh, not Merck, Mark. Avramides hits the woodwork again. I mean, Avramides and hitting the woodwork. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. It happens a lot. <laughs> it feels like they are going slightly more attacking, going to a 4-4-2. I kind of just want to stick with what we're doing here, which might be foolish, but I feel like a third goal would just single-handedly turn this tie. I'm sure Man City feel like a goal here could turn the tie for them. As well, it's more defensive action. This time it's Zivkovic, the left-back, throwing himself in front of the ball. And you know what? I will take 2-0 now. I will happily walk away from this game with a two-goal deficit lead and not conceding an away goal. And <laughs> unbelievably, Ramadani's picked up man of the match again, everyone. He did it against Bayern. He was superb against Bayern. In the Champions League, his average rating 
is a 7.34. I, I think it's in, undeniable at this point. This man at 9.75 million might be one of our best buys ever. He is just keeping us alive. That is a third consecutive clean sheet in the Champions League as well. And it really gives us a good chance in the second leg. Going to the Etihad, knowing that one away goal means Man City have to score four. With all their talent, with all their ability, I look at our defence and I feel like we can shut them out from scoring four. I, I can't believe it. We could be one game away from getting to a Champions League final, which would just be absolutely well, mind-blowing, to be honest, especially the teams we would have taken out to get there. I, of course, cannot afford to get too carried away just yet. That next leg is coming up in a week's time. Sorry, Villarreal. I may mean no disrespect, but I will be rotating things for this one. I'm going to join you guys in just a moment. Could it happen? Really? <sighs> Let's go find out. You know what? As I sit here, it's only just sunk in as I've hit start record for the second half of today's episode. We are so close to a Champions League final. Um, yeah, I mean, the 2-1 home win is huge. An away goal for us, and the gauntlet is laid out for Man City. In the other game, Dortmund, as you can see here, edged out Arsenal in the first leg, but still a lot for them to do if they want to make it to the final. There has been a game since you were here just a moment ago, and it was against Villarreal. For this game, I did rotate the team a fair bit. Um, probably could have rotated it slightly more if I wanted to, but in the end, I wanted a team that could still win the game. Fortunately for me, we did. The man who got the goal was Aguilera, uh, the right winger slash striker who played out on the right in this game here and scored his first ever La Liga goal. And this is not a bad goal. It's one of my favourites I think I've seen this year in FM. The first time finish, just into the top corner with power, isn't something you see all the time. And uh, well, with that goal, we won 2-1. And with it, we ended up guaranteeing ourselves a top four spot, uh, which is obviously fantastic to see. And as a result of that Champions League football kind of guarantee, uh, the transfer budget has been set for this coming year. £17 million to spend, a wage budget of £682,000 a week. It's a little bit lower than I would like. We've got £60 million in the bank at the moment. There is a £30 million debt as a result of our new stage that's currently being built. That new stadium, of course, is going to be finished at the end of next season and can seat 30,000 fans. Elsewhere, I did some board requests to improve the training and youth facilities. I was caught out by the fact that the work for them actually started in January. I feel like in England, and I might be wrong here, but when you're in England in Football Manager and you ask for improved facilities, they wait until the end of the season to do the work. Whereas in Spain... They don't seem to give a Scooby-Doo. So as a result, our youth facilities have been upgraded. Our training facilities are going to be done in July as well. And of course, we've got that new stadium to look forward to. It feels like off the pitch, the club is making great progress. As much as I want to begrudge the fact I've not got more money to spend in the market, the reality is that so much of it has been invested into the club infrastructure. I really feel like Racing is now set up for sustained success for years and years to come. But anyway, enough of that long-term vision. We're here for the here and now. We are playing Man City away. We go into this game in a great, great position, as I've already talked about. And while the good news is, in terms of squad fitness, because of the rotation, we're ready for this one. We are ready and raring to go. The squad is fit. It is the best 11 that I can pick. And you know what? No dilly-dallying around. I just want to get into this game. I have been nervous for this since the first leg. I had to pop out from the house and do a few errands. And all that was on my mind as I was stood in the supermarket was, I've got a second leg at the Etihad to worry about. But it's here. It's now. Hopefully, we're not going to leave this match with any regrets. Hopefully, we can cause a massive upset and navigate our way through this tough game and come through it in the Champions League final. You can see their team here. It's a very, very, very good squad that Man City have at their disposal. As for our team, fewer household names, but Pablo Torre, I feel like at this point, has a, a space in work the space folklore as a legend, as perhaps does Mahika. even more so if we bring him on off the bench to get something for us today. But, uh, well, I was going to say, let's get into this, and then I was going to await the highlights to begin. There's a highlight within the first two minutes. I don't know how I should feel about that. There was a temptation to kind of go really defensive and try and just shut up shop, but I want to get that away goal because I think that could be critical, especially if Man City look as threatening go going forward as they did there for just a moment. 
all they need to do is win 3 0 on the night. I mean, I say all they need to do. Our defensive record's been superb. I back us to not concede too many goals. That said, you know, the away goal, as we've already talked about, it would change this tie. It would really challenge Man City if we could get it early to need to score four. Unfortunately, first Haaland is through and he runs around Ramadani like he's not even there for his 40th goal of the season. 40! Yeah, that Erling Haaland guy's quite good, isn't he? Capanu giving the ball away to De Bruyne, who, well, you can't afford to give the ball away to because he will pick out a pass like that one. Cool, collected, composed finish by Haaland. That is not the start inside the first five minutes I wanted to see to this one. Man City looking really good in the early stages here. They've now got a free kick in a threatening area, which is going to go the way of Vinicius Jr. and be headed over. They're creating a lot. They're not having as much of the ball as us. And while we've got our own corner, Pablo whips it in. Can't pick out Velez. Haaland back on defensive duty there. But maybe Pablo to whip it in again. Tries to pick out Martinez. Back to Pablo it goes. Have a third go at getting the ball into the box. Blanco, Capanu. Options on his left and right. Goes to Zivkovic, the left back, who has a lot of time and space to pick out a pass to Avramides. His effort is blocked heroically by the Manchester City defender. That was such a good opportunity for us. Great to see Zivkovic getting forward. Really has been a revelation since he joined us this year. I feel like we've not really sung the praises of the wingbacks this year, but they have made a difference. Unfortunately, on that occasion, Avramides just couldn't quite get his shot away. And well, there is no rest for the wicked because Man City in possession here with that early goal. They're going to have their tails up. And now Vinicius Jr. is through. It's blocked by Mark on the line. And I don't quite know what to make of that. That is some crazy, crazy defending. To get back there, just get your body between the, the ball and the goal and kick it away. Well, we had a highlight result from one corner. Could it result from another? It can't there. Velez's header just over the crossbar. But we're looking a little bit threatening going forward, which is pleasing to see. And while Bellerin is caught flat-footed, Avramides steals away that ball. That looks outside the box to me. He's going to go and review the footage. This isn't a penalty, I don't think. I'd be shocked if it is. Bellerin gave away the ball and Avramides just started pulling clear of him. Foul from behind. I mean, if it's a penalty, I'll be delighted. I just don't think it is. Sadly for us. What is the referee's decision going to be? No penalty. That does not surprise me, but it was very close. I don't even know if the resulting free kick's going to be a highlight. I'm going to hope it is going to be. I'm hoping that Bellerin's going to pick up a booking as well. Give him a yellow ref. He's going to have a tight walk now, a uh, tightrope now to walk for the rest of the game. I mean, we've got the free kick. Pablo's not bad at these. He hits it back post, and well, Galoretta. Heading off target. That was not, not a good head, was it, from a, a free opportunity like that? So at the break, Man City leading 1-0, but still not a whole lot between these two teams. It's been a very, very even game. We've had slightly more in terms of quantity of chances. The quality has perhaps lacked a little. Edging out possession is pleasing, though. I want to tell the players I'm pleased, but I also want to tell them I believe they've got what it takes. We've got to remember, this is not a game that we ever went into expecting to be in this kind of position. And whilst we're in a commanding position and I want us to take the opportunity that sits in front of us, oh my word, Ramadani, there's a long way to go. Ramadani, I can't believe the save he's just had to make to open up this half. Anthony had a shot. It was saved. Haaland might be through again. And well, the save is in vain. Erling Haaland puts us to the sword. And Manchester City double their lead on the night. Oh, that is gutting. That is not the start to this half that we needed. Nice build-up play by Man City, to be fair. Again, it's the De Bruyne-Harland partnership linking up. And after a great save, Ramadani could not be helped out by his defence. And, well, as things stand, it'd be going to extra time. I still feel like we have to play for the away goal, and I still feel like if we keep playing the way that we're playing, surely, eventually, it's got to come. Blanco whips it in. Siapina heads it just wide of the post as well. It was a golden opportunity for us. We're now going to look to build from the back. Of course, Man City did the same and then Bellerin gave it away. I'll hope that our defence is more alert to the dangers as Martinez is going to bring it forward. Sliding tackle comes in. Now with Bernardo Silva in the middle. Back to Lepore. De Bruyne now with it. Ruben Neves to Erling Haaland, who's now on for his hat-trick. Anthony as well on this near side. What could he do? The Brazilian winger. Zivkovic makes a great tackle. It was a heart-in-mouth moment as I anticipated a penalty to be given, but not on this occasion. 
And well, Avramides, who's been a little bit of a difference maker throughout this Champions League run, he's going all on his lonesome and then has a rather ambitious effort to wrap up that chance. And you know what? With that, I think it's time for changes. I've got a double change planned. Uh, I am going to keep Capano on the pitch and hope he can stay well behaved. I'm going to bring in uh, Mejica up top and I have, maybe I should take off Capano. Maybe I should take off Kapanu and just bring in a Wusu. I don't really want to waste a change taking off someone on a yellow, but I don't really want to risk it. So we'll go with Siapina out on the right. Mejica is going to move in down the middle, fresh off the bench. I'm hoping he's going to have the impact that we need here. We're hunting for that goal. And with 25 minutes left, it is still 2-0 Man City on the night. 2-2 on aggregate. We just need the away goal. I always thought we might need the away goal. Can it come soon? No, oh, not as things stand. Haaland, free header, hits the woodwork. He's on for a hat trick. That's not what I want to see. Ten minutes left. It's time for a demand more. They're going to the 4-4-2, which they switched to at the end of last game, and it didn't really work out for them. I realise that in saying that, I'm just bringing on the jinx, aren't I? Four minutes left, plus any added time. We're going to play it out from the back. Ramadani, Mahika can't win his header. Ruben Neves now with it. Gabriel Jesus, Haaland takes a touch, gets through, and just puts us to the sword by smashing it into the bottom corner. And it's absolutely gutting. Defensively, we've looked so good throughout this entire campaign. And, well, it's early in Haaland, isn't it? It's just early in Haaland. You can't stop him. We have to score. And suddenly I'm left in a position where I've got to uncomfortably just go all out attack. One goal and we would go for on away goals. That's what I've got to remind myself at this moment in time. I have still got one last sub in my back pocket. I kind of want to do something mad. Would it be mad to play Siapina and Avramides either side of Mejica down the middle? I don't necessarily think it would be. Uh, hmm. Zivkovic can't really play wing back. You know what, Zivkovic? Just complete wing back and attack. Mark, we can push forward a little bit more. I've got to take some stupid gambles at some point, you know. There, there is no point here in trying to play pretty football, in trying to worry about what's going on. We need to just get, get the ball forward quickly and hope that we can create one opportunity. Of course, just as a reminder, an away goal would swing things in our favour. Um, I'm looking at our options on the bench, and I think I'm going to bring in Calder on for Torre as well. Pablo, he's not had the greatest of games. I kind of still want to edit things here. We're going to go attacking. Confirm that. Hit play. I need a late goal. I need a late highlight. Can it come here? Zivkovic. Awusu. So many men so high up the pitch for us here. It's kind of mad. Calder on. Fresh off the bench. Blanco. Awusu. One chance is all it takes. Mark. Obviously, in committed men forward, we're going to leave ourselves open on the break. Zivkovic, the left back, tries to get it into the middle. It's blocked away. Man City might now look to catch us on the break. And Zivkovic is all out of position at left back. And this feels like impending doom, my friends. Gabriel Jesus whips it in. Erling Haaland knocks it down to Neves, who scores possibly the goal of the tournament. A goal, the worst thing is now, an away goal wouldn't have made a difference. We've conceded three. Man City, they are the better team. We are a team that has no right to be in the semi-final. And you know what? I really, really started to believe after the first leg that it was possible. But the Man City team that has turned up here has just put on a clinic. They have been so deadly in front of goal. And you know what? It feels pretty gutting to go out as we are. We could reflect on all the little decisions. I'm just going to embrace the fact that we made it as far as we did. The average age of our starting lineup today was in its early 20s. This is a team that's not really built for the here and now. I mean, of course, when you get to the to the semi-final like we did, you want you want to go and do it all. You want to go all the way. Sadly for us, it's just not going to happen. Not this year. £10 million paid for the semi-final, but unfortunately that is where our season is going to end. Ah, I mean, it's disappointing. Man City have won two out of the last four Champions Leagues. They're going to be going for three Champions League titles in five years. Like I said, this is a team built for the future. You look at the potential column, you think of what could be in the next few years. Sadly, in the here and now, we just didn't show up in that second leg. Perhaps the inexperience showed a little bit. 
The worst thing being is that we did create chances. We had opportunities. We unfortunately couldn't take them. And, you know, in a rare instance, defensively, we looked a little all over the place. <laughs> I say we looked defensively all over the place. There's one man who caused us to look defensively all over the place. He's probably the best striker in Football Manager 2021. I don't necessarily think there's too much shame in that. Oh, it's so gutting at the end of what's been a really long, tough season to see things fizzle out like that. A 4-0 defeat, just absolutely destroyed by Man City. We've got to take the positives, though. It's been a good season for the most part. We've gone further than we've ever gone before in the Champions League. The board expectation was to be competitive. I have no doubt we will be considered the overperformers. And at the very least, this run this year really helps out the coefficient. Anyway, next season, we're going to do a kind of end of season wrap up. We may come back for the last game of the season against Numancia. I think what is more realistic is I come back for the trophy ceremony. We have a look at the squad, talk about possible ideas for stuff that I want to change, transfer targets, and it can kind of act as a preamble, bit of a round end of season roundup, a look towards next year and look back on this season, which let's be honest, has been a very, very memorable one for the success that we've had on it. We've won our first silverware. We've made it to a Champions League semi-final. Perhaps most importantly, we've got Champions League football again for a third successive season. You know, it's all things that we can certainly look at as massive, massive positives. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up everything from me today. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode as always. If you did, do drop a like on it. And well, until next time, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. As mentioned in the intro, this video today was sponsored by Super Club Soccer. Super Club Soccer is a turn-based free-to-play football game now available on Steam. Create your own player, create a club, team up with your friends and take on other players around the world. Play in 3D or 2D, in teams of 5 or of 11 and compete in tournaments in online competitive games. There is a link at the top of the description, click it if you'd like to find out more information and also help support the content here on the channel. 